to call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Ever since that day That's what they call me Promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me Promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they Okay, so hello everybody and welcome back to my channel It is Alison Ironbrook and today I'm taking my new horse, Panda to her first cross-country training We'll be heading over to Vaildo Village very shortly, but first we're going to get tacked up and get ready to go. So now I'm just walking her down to the wash stall ready to give her a groom and put on her shipping tack. So now I'm just taking her in and turning her round ready for her shipping boots to be put on so now I'm just giving her a quick brush over and picking out her feet and putting on her shipping boots which are really nice and fluffy and protective and now we're heading on outside to the trailer So now we're just loading up, ready to head over to Vaildale Lake. So now we're just in the trailer and we are about to arrive and now I'm unloading Panda. So while I tack up I'm just going to give you some quick facts about Panda as she is new to my realistic roleplay. So her name is Panda and her show name is A Contrasting Colour and I thought that would really suit her as she is a piebald. Um, and she is my new six year old 14 hand eye show jumping pony who I hope to be an inventor. And as soon as I saw her up for sale um, and I saw her talent and personality I couldn't resist buying her. Um, and it was either the fact that I would buy her or that she would have been left to waste away in a field for the rest of her life. So I really couldn't resist and yeah, so now we're here. So I just mounted up and we're now walking on as a mini warm up, uh, walking to start our training. So I'm basically just going to start steady and go over the whole course and just run the full course and then um, I'm not going to like do every individual jump as she's a show jumper and used to scary fillers and solid jumps and show jumping so now I'm just giving her a quick trot but like I said we're just going to be running the full course starting off slowly then there's a big jump that I'd really like to see if she can jump but I don't know if that's possible With her being a show jumper, I do think it is possible for her to jump it. Um, but, because she does have the height and the spring, but we'll have to see as it is very intimidating and I've only ever really jumped it on my other high, high leveled eventing horses, such as Diamond and Spyro. So Panda is really good at going down the hills, she really paces herself well and uses her um, body to her maximum potential, um, her gaits are gorgeous and yeah she's just an amazing horse and that's why I hope to turn her into an eventer rather than just a show jumper as I think if she has the potential then she'd be great at it and she seems to be enjoying the cross country so far so hopefully it goes well and she's able to jump that jump that I really hope she can as that would really push me to make her an eventer.
so she's sound over all the bridges and everything like that, nothing like that bothers her. She's completely fine over all of them, which is a good thing, because um, it is a different surface, but it's a good thing that she does not mind. I still took it steady over the bridges and didn't let her flat out gallop as that's something for a higher leveled competition. Obviously I won't be able to go to as high a event as I do with Diamond as obviously Diamond is like twice her height um, with her only being 14 hands high. So this is the jump next to the intimidating jump. Um, you kind of saw it there and I just kept going over this a few times to make sure that she was sound with that first before trying the bigger one so here's our first try and she really did not like the look of that so I tried again and again she refused the third time she really did try her hardest and she cleared it with miles you can see her front legs out of how far she tried but she jumped it so lovely and cute and we carried on with our round cantering over the bridge round the corner over the second bridge and now we're on the finishing stretch there are two more jumps left this being the first of the two and then now there is one more jump before we've completed the whole thing. And then I galloped her through the finish. Then I headed back to practice this big jump again. And then once I jumped it once again I then jumped it and then finished the home stretch again. Before and when I returned I jumped down and took her over to untack her. So the first thing I did was take off her saddle, followed by her saddle pad. And then her boots to take them off and then replacing the boots with some travel wraps. And then finally taking off her bridle and replacing that with her fluffy head collar. And then I took off my helmet and now we're ready to load up and head back home to Mistfall Stables. She's, she's really good at loading up as she was practiced with loading a lot at her old home. Here we are arrived back in Mistfall and unloads perfectly again. So she's actually not going back into her stable tonight, she's going straight out to the field. Or oh, it's not really a field, like this mini paddock which is connected to the barn. And I took off her travel wraps and her head collar and then I let her run around. She did have a bit of a canter round which was funny. Um, she is really cheeky but really cute at the same time. That trot shows a lot of dressage potential also and then she walked over to grab some water before walking all the way around the fence just to check out her surroundings. Then she stood there, swished her tail a bit to waft away the flies before galloping and nearly hitting the wall but she slammed the brakes on just before, then did a bit of a rear and then did a couple of books. So yeah that's all for this video, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!